Today, we are going to be treating cells. And before we treat these cells, let's look at the following examples. Root of 9, root of 25, root of 2, and root of 3. Now let's get the results. Root of 9 gives 3, root of 25 gives 5, root of 2 gives 1.414213, root of 3 gives 1.73205. Now as you might have noticed, root of 9 and root of 25 give exact numbers or what we call rational numbers. Now while root of 2 and root of 3 give non-exact numbers, they give non-exact numbers or numbers which you call irrational. They are not reoccurring. They are not exact. So we call them irrational numbers. So numbers that give irrational results when written in the simplest form are called sets. So root 2 and root 3 are examples of what we call sets. So those are sets. So other examples of sets or other Numbers that give irrational results written in their simplest form are root of 5, root of 7, and you will note that all these cells have root signs associated with them. Now let's look at the properties of cells. Properties of cells. Now these properties are very important for us to note because they help us carry out operations on sets. They help carry out operations on sets. So it's very important. So when talking about operations over here, we're talking about addition, we're talking about subtraction, we're talking about multiplication, we're talking about division. Alright, so now let's go to the first property of sets. So A times root of B given a root b so a is any number multiplying the root of b which is a set to give a root b just like a number multiplying a variable so an example is 2 times root of 3 which should give us 2 root 3 so the number under the root sign is maintained root 3 is maintained in this case and never is the number written in front of the root sign always before just like in writing a a number multiplied by a variable so number two is a root b multiplying c to give a c root b you know it again that the number under the root sign or the third part is maintained root b is maintained so a multiply c which are both in blue an example is two root three multiplying four to give eight root three so the four multiplies the two to give us eight root three is maintained Number three, a root b multiplying root d to give a root of the, the expression bd. So whenever two set two root signs multiply, the values inside the root signs multiply. So in this case, the b multiplies the d to give bd, and the a remains outside. An example is two root three times root of five, which should give us two root fifteen where we got the 15 by multiplying 3 and 5. Property number 4. 3 root b times c root d, giving a c root b d. Now the color codes of the letters should help you understand this. So the a multiplies c to give a c, b multiplies d to give b d. An example is 2 root 3 multiplying 4 root 5, which should give us 8 root 15. 2 times 4 gives us 8, 3 times 5 gives us 15. Property number 5. A root B plus C root B should give us A C root of B. So when adding, we take, we just add the numbers multiplying the, the root signs. So A and C are added to give A C, then root B is maintained. So 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 gives us 6 root 3. The same thing applies for subtraction also. So when subtracting two sets, you subtract the numbers multiplying the root sign. So in this case, we subtract a fr c from a, which gives a minus c multiplying root of b. And an example also shows the same. So in adding subtracting, you take it as though, for instance, for this example, 
4 of the root 3's minus 2 of the root 3's. So that should give you 2 of the root 3's. You can take it that way. Now you have to note that for these examples, the numbers under the root sign should be the same. The values under the root sign should be the same before carrying out addition and subtraction. So when, it, when they are not the same, you cannot carry out addition and subtraction of cells. Now let's go to property number 7. Property number 7. Root of A times root of B, which obviously should be root of AB. Because you only multiply the ones under the cells, uh, under the root signs. So it gives AB, root of AB. An example is root of 3 times root of 5, which should give root of 15. We multiply the numbers under the root sign. So root of 15. Let's go to property number 8. Property number 8 is root of A divided by root of B. Similarly, we divide A by B. That gives root of A divided by B. So that's say much the same thing as that in the multiplication so an example would be root of 6 divided by root of 2 so in this case we have root of 6 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 so that should give us root of 3 now the next property root of a times root of a now this can give you two possibilities you can take this as root of a squared that is 2 twice the root of a so 2 of the root of a is multiplying so root of a squared or we can multiply the values under the root sign to give a squared so we have root of a squared now the first example can be written as a to the power 1 over 2 the root sign from indices is the same as raised to the power 1 over 2 so we can have a to the power 1 over 2 squared and from the second example we can write a squared all to the power half same from indices root sign means to the power half and in all these cases, we have 1 over 2 times 2, which gives us 1. So the answer will be A for both of these cases. The answer is A for both of these cases. Yes. So that gives us all the properties we need to know from said. So we can pause this video and screenshot this and use this as a revision guide. It will help you conquer other problems on sets. Alright, join me for my next video because in the next video, I'll be playing, I'll be explaining how to easily reduce cells to their basic form and also I'll be bringing out some challenging questions and answers on cells. Please make sure you click the subscribe button so that you don't miss that video and other amazing videos. This is my channel so make sure you subscribe to it and don't miss all the educational videos that will be coming up. So as always, see you next time.